So, to start off the tier list, we have none other than the man, the myth, the legend himself. Uh, hello? Hello, hello? Bone guy. Uh, a classic FNAF character, obviously. Um, if you don't know Phone Guy, then it's like, what do you even know about FNAF? Uh, hello? Hello, hello? Thank you, Tatsu. <laughs> Thank you. So Phone Guy, pretty, pretty unimportant to the story of FNAF overall. We thought he was for so long. You know, he, he really tricked us. Got caught then. Tricked us into thinking that Phone Guy was important, but he's really not. Uh, but I care about him. He has a, a special place in my heart. I'm gonna give him A tier. He's not quite S tier. Because um, he is just completely unimportant as a character. But, he's a great character. Care about the phone. I do care about the phone, you know? Um, and then we got Freddy. The classic, you know. The Freddy. Name of the series, you know. Super important for the series as a whole. And a really good design, you know? Freddy's got a pretty good design to him, I'll be honest. I, uh, I like Freddy. Freddy, I'm gonna give a solid B to you. You know? I don't super care about Freddy. I don't, like, he's cool. Still, like, stop. I am going to put a cooldown on it if you do not stop. <laughs> I swear to God. Then we got Bonnie, okay? And Bonnie... Bonnie was the first character to give... And probably the only character to give Scott Cawthon himself nightmares. And I think that's pretty funny. Uh, so I put I put Bonnie just a little bit above Freddy. A solid A tier. Actually, no. Freddy C tier, Bonnie B tier. B for Bonnie. Freddy's after. Freddy's like the control, you know? He's like good design, pretty important to the story. Kind of boring, you know? He's kind of boring. And then we got Chica. Um, and this is when the porn started. Very interesting character, Chica. Uh, the only female animatronic in FNAF 1, and therefore the only, or the, the, the first looted animatronic. Uh, so we're gonna put her... We're gonna put her alongside Freddy, honestly. C for Chica. Foxy was where, where we really lured in the furries to the series, alright? Pretty much on the same tier as Chica in terms of lewdness, you know? And that's pretty impressive, I gotta say. Uh, and I like Foxy's design. Foxy's design is good. He's a pirate, he's got a hook hand, he's got the eye patch, like... He's just a cool design overall. You gotta respect Foxy. You gotta put him in A tier. Everybody knows Foxy's the coolest animatronic in FNAF 1. He really is. Alright, so Golden Freddy. Great character. Super important to the story. From day one, he was like the creepiest animatronic. Because it was like, oh, this is like the glitch. The glitch animatronic. Oh, this is creepy. Cool, creepy. Oh, scary. Golden Freddy. You got Golden Freddy. That's so cool. Easy S tier, in my opinion. Um, the only the only one besides maybe Phone Guy who deserves S tier. Because uh, he's, he's just cool, you know? Like, from the start, people were like, Yo, did you hear about Golden Freddy? And yet he's, he's like that tip the iceberg in Club Penguin type of character, you know? So many people will go through the game without ever encountering Golden Freddy. And that's crazy to me. You could play the game like a hundred times and you could not encounter Golden Freddy. And we got the endoskeleton, of course. I think this one is the FNAF 1 endoskeleton. This guy right here. I think. I don't know for sure. Because uh, I think this one is the one from FNAF World. And... Maybe FNAF 2? I don't know for sure. But anyway, this one, we're... He's whatever. He's he's the endoskeleton. He's kind of cool. Kind of cool easter egg. Uh, not really creepy. 
though. He's, he's just kind of an endoskeleton. So, I don't know. Never really interested me. And then we're on to FNAF 2, where we got Toy Freddy. And Toy Freddy is a gamer. So, you know, you gotta, gotta pay respects to the gamer. But, I mean, really, his design is, is a pretty big downgrade from FNAF 1. He's so uninteresting. Honestly. And he was he was so, like, not a threat in FNAF 2. Like, if you're gonna die to any animatronic, it's it's gonna be, like, the puppet. Or one of the withered animatronics. Not really Toy Freddy. Kinda boring. Don't respect Toy Freddy, even though he is a gamer. Then we got Toy Bonnie. Who... I don't like as much as the original Bonnie either, honestly. I like him better than Toy Freddy, though. I'd put him on par with Freddy and Chica. Toy Chica. Now this... She is such a bad bitch, though! This is where everybody started looting the animatronics, like, hardcore. I will fuck the shit out of that robot, man. I'm not even... <laughs> this is when people, like, mainstream people were like, Damn, those animatronics looking kind of good. <laughs> And that's when it got scary. I would put Toy Chica in B tier, you know? Toy Chica, respectable, you know? Respectable. A, a good meme in the FNAF community. Uh, however, she immediately gets triumphed by Mangle. Versus self gold counter? Oh shit, yeah, you're right. Mangle, Mangle, Mangle. Mangle's a great animatronic. That's pretty uh, Fraud Fox. Fraud Fox. Fraud Fox. Why? 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 Fraud Fox? And a raid? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Okay, anyway, fit check, fit check. Uh, today we're wearing the meme fit. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a gamer. I eat sand. I eat more sand than my doctor says is healthy. Yeah, I'm going to die. A cool shirt. Sonic pants. You know the Sonic pants. They're beautiful. Love the Sonic pants. Got them on Etsy. Mangle's great. Uh, Mangle's super cool. Mangle uh, is well designed. I think it's super creepy, it's really cool with the static effect that they do. I like that they don't have a gender, that's pretty epic. Um, definite S tier. Easy S tier. But let's do this little weird endoskeleton. Let's just get out of the way. That's gonna be a D tier easily. Toy Freddy's above regular endo. Weird endoskeleton, uh, honestly F tier. Fuck it, I, I don't even know which endoskeleton this is, it's so... So boring. So boring. Don't care about that. And then we got Withered Freddy. Now, Withered Freddy... I like him better than regular Freddy. Which might be a hot take. I like that he's like, really huge. It's really creepy. Very intimidating. Um, I'd put him right below Toy Chica in B tier. Pretty, pretty good design. As our lovely friend who rated us, Dip Dip, uh, mentioned earlier, Withered Bonnie's pretty great. Not having a face and being one of the most intimidating animatronics in FNAF 2, really good, honestly. Really solid. Gotta put it in A tier, right below Foxy. Um, the no face thing works super well for the Withered design. I gotta love it. Uh, Pretty, pretty good, like, meme animatronic. Employee, my fucking head is gone. Please give the rabbit his face back. And then we have Withered Chica, who... is interesting. Um... Not... Not super impressed with Withered Chica. Honestly gonna put it, like, just right above regular Chica. Not... Not much better. Still creepy, and I think a little bit creepier than regular Chica. 
So yeah, I, I'd put Wither Chica like just right above Chica. Nothing super special, honestly. Withered Foxy. He's alright. He's he's pretty much on par with the regular Foxy. Not really much different, but he is a pretty pretty strong uh, threat. I actually put him right below Withered Bonnie. No, I'm I'm putting him in B tier. I'm changing it because he's not really much. He's not really super unique from regular Foxy, um, except with his mechanic. And I'm just not, I, I just don't care too much for Withered Foxy. Not a great animatronic. So Paper Pals uh, are literally just a few paper plates that are seen in one of the cameras in FNAF 2. But I think they're cute. I think they're pretty cute. Oh yeah, Balloon Kid coming up. That's gonna be spicy. Oh yeah. You wanna see me get real mad? We're gonna get to Balloon Boy. I think Paper Pals are neat. I'm gonna put them... I'm gonna put them right... right below... Chica. Right above Toy Bonnie, right below Chica. I like that. I like that placement. And then we got Golden Freddy in FNAF 2. And Golden Freddy in FNAF 1 was a cool threat and all. But him coming back for FNAF 2 was really weird, honestly. Uh, I didn't really care for Withered Freddy, or Withered Freddy, uh, Golden Freddy in FNAF 2. Kind of lame, honestly. Kind of feels like just a cheap, cheap trick to uh, bring Golden Freddy back. For no real reason, so I don't know. I'll put him, put him in D tier, because he, in theory, he's like the same as the regular Golden Freddy. But like, why is he in, why is he in the FNAF 2 location now? The puppet. If you know anything about me and FNAF, it's that I love the puppet. The puppet's one of the best animatronics in the game. <clears throat> A great threat in FNAF 2, a fantastic design, important to the lore, that's it. I just like the puppet. Easy top of S tier. Top of S tier. Balloon Boy? We actually have to, um, we actually have to make a new tier for this one, uh, because quite frankly, no amount of separation between F and Balloon Boy uh, can properly describe how much I don't like Balloon Boy. I didn't miss it all. No, 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 Gray, we're still here. We're still here. We're only on FNAF 2, don't worry. We got the- we got a whole lot of animatronics to get through. Uh, Balloon Boy's gotta go on his own tier. Doing good. Until... Gasp? <gasps> Drama? T? I saw you put Mangle on S tier. What? What do you mean? What do you mean? Mangle's an easy S tier, dude. Mangle's got a great design, a cool mechanic. Um, the fact that they don't have a gender and only speak in static is great. Mangle's great, dude. I just love Mangle. Mangle's a foxy version of James Charles. <laughs> that is not true. <laughs> don't you dare insult Mangle like that. Hi, sister. <laughs> no. <clears throat> Nathan, in the future, if you decide to make a video out of this, uh, you know what to do. <laughs> Hi, sister! <laughs> this character is not Balloon Boy, and it's not Dee Dee, I think. Or maybe it is Dee Dee, but I'm pretty sure Dee Dee is uh, the Ultimate Custom Knight one. So I forget the name of this character. I don't think it's Dee Dee. I could be wrong. Maybe it is. Either way, Balloon Boy. I don't give a shit about him. They're like kind of a cool easter egg, but... They're just Balloon Boy, but a better color scheme. And I don't respect anybody who tries to mimic Balloon Boy. And then we got Purple Freddy, who I think is technically from... Or Shadow Freddy. I think he's technically from FNAF 3, but I think he's also in FNAF 2. No, he is in FNAF 2. He is. <clears throat> cool easter egg. Cool design. 
being purple and all. Um, I like that he's... I believe he's William Afton dressed in a Freddy costume, but I could be wrong about that. Um, the mini games are kind of hard to tell what the fuck's going on. It's a solid B tier. B tier for Shadow Freddy. Right above Withered Freddy, but below Withered or below Toy Chica. That's pretty poggers. Gray. Gray. Gray, thank you for the sub. Gray. Off the top of my head, I do not remember the name of Shadow Bonnie. I believe it's RXQWFASB, something along those lines. What is this character's name? R FNAF RXQ. F S F A S X C. A classic character. Easy A tier. Don't at me. Right below Withered, Withered Bonnie. Uh, I like him better than Shadow Freddy. We got Purple Guy, guys. We got Purple Guy here. Uh, AKA William Afton. Very well known character in the series. Kills children. That's kind of fucked up. But he is important to the story. Purple guy. Purple guy. He's S tier. <sighs> you know, it is weird to rate a child murderer so highly, you know? It, it really is. But like, purple guy is an important character. He, he always comes back. Uh, he does a funny little dance. He goes, beep, beep. Beep, beep, when he's all scared, you know, and that's funny. But I don't think I can put Purple Guy higher than Phone Guy. You know? I feel like Purple Guy's on par with Phone Guy. Because he's he and Phone Guy are like on the same tier, in my opinion. Except that he is way more important to the lore than Phone Guy. I just think Phone Guy is funnier. Didn't Matt Pat think Phone Guy was William? He did. <laughs> that was a classic theory. The FNAF 2 theory that Phone Guy is Purple Guy. Ugh. Those are such simple times. <laughs> Springtrap's gonna be S tier. You know? I think he's a good design. I, I think his jump scare is shit. Uh, it's not good. He's not a he's not a big threat in FNAF 3. Like you're never like terrified of Springtrap. But him as a character is definitely really spooky. And again, I like his design a lot. Definitely S tier. Right below Mangle. Uh, Phantom Freddy. He's he's vibing. Uh, not a... He, he was a pretty alright threat. Nothing crazy. I'd put him on par with Withered Freddy. Um, I like the Phantoms in general. I think their design is cool. Phantom Chica. He's probably the worst designed Phantom. Uh, God put her with fucking Golden Freddy from FNAF 2. Phantom Foxy, I think he's pretty good. <clears throat> I'd put him, I'd put him right above Withered Foxy. I don't really have many strong feelings about him, but I like him just a little bit better than Withered Foxy because I think the the damage and the streaks do a lot more, uh, as well as the eye, the creepy eye. I think they do a lot for his design. Because Withered Foxy's kind of boring, but you add that extra creep factor to him, I think it's pretty good. Can you make a subcategory that's worse than Balloon Boy for a singular person? Um, no, because Balloon Boy's at the bottom of the tier list. It doesn't get worse than Balloon Boy. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna put that one that I can't remember. Is it DD? Is it is it DD FNAF 2? Oh, oh it's JJ. It's JJ. Okay. Okay, that's right. Alias Balloon Girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. JJ. A <laughs> little bit better than BB. Phantom Mangle. I actually don't like as much as regular Mangle. They they were definitely annoying in FNAF 3. But I'd still put it right at the bottom of A tier. Because Mangle's design, I think, is still really good. Uh, but I think the original look 
of Mangle works better. I think there's just too much going on with all the green and black. JJ's like that one person in a Netflix series who was a background character and gets less than 10 seconds of showtime. Yeah. They like name drop them just so that one of the main characters can get distracted from a conversation. Like that's a phantom puppet. Great design. There's a reason that in all of my horror game videos, I, uh, in my outro, put Phantom Puppet. Because I think the Phantom Puppet, like, doing the eyes, like, back and forth um, at the bottom of the screen is really cool. I don't think it's as good as the regular puppet by any means. Uh, so I'd probably put it just, like, right... Right above Phantom Mangle. Phantom Balloon Boy goes at the bottom of the Balloon Boy tier. Easily the worst. Uh, it just just annoying, unpleasant. Um, definitely a really shit character. Crying Child, but not the FNAF 4 Crying Child. <clears throat> the, uh, the dead kid. You know the one. Um... Pretty, pretty good design, you know? I like that they're, you know, important to the story. They're kind of like a cute design, kind of creepy with like the tear streaks going down. I'd put it right above Purple Guy out of spite, just because, you know, they fucking kicked his ass. He was so scared of these ghosts that he fucking hid in Springtrap and died. Gotta go right above. Now we get on to my favorite FNAF game, FNAF 4. <laughs> uh, Nightmare Freddy. Super cool design. Love that he's got the freddles. Definitely the second best Freddy design, in my opinion. Second best. I feel pretty confident saying that. I could be wrong. I could change my mind later, but I'm going to say second best. I think... Nightmare Freddy goes right above Foxy. Regular Foxy. No. Yes. Right above regular Foxy. I like the Nightmare Animatronics, and I'm tired of pretending that I don't. Okay? Just because this was the fourth FNAF game to come out within, like, a year's time <laughs> doesn't mean that they weren't scary. Okay? FNAF 4 was the first FNAF game that I was too scared to play. All right? And I'm tired of pretending that it's a bad game just because the community was oversaturated with FNAF content at that point. All right? It is a good game. Uh, those are gonna go right, right above him, honestly. Because I like them. He's a dad. Yeah, he's a dad. And like, why? Why is he a dad? You know, that's creepy. Why does he have these little weird Freddy children? Who's the wife? I mean, purple guy, obviously. Nightmare Bonnie. I think it's really great that it sticks to the FNAF 1 Bonnie theme. Honestly, gotta put it like right, right above Nightmare Freddy in the Freddles. I really like Nightmare Bonnie. I think it's a really great design overall. Big fan of Nightmare Bonnie. Today on CSEN, old dude makes animatronics to kill children. Ends up sexing them? More on this topic later. Nightmare Cheek is probably my least favorite of the Nightmare animatronics. Um, I still like the design a lot. Got a lot of teeth. Too many teeth. I think that's cool. Probably gonna go right below Withered Bonnie. Nightmare Foxy. Super cool. Mad that they took out the tongue. What was that about, Scott? Disappointing. Definite S tier. The tongue was the best part, okay? And I'm tired of pretending it's not. Now, Nightmare Fredbear was really interesting. His his design with the with the mouth stomach is super cool. This is like my favorite. Oof, excuse me. <clears throat> I gave myself the hiccups. <clears throat> oh no. Yeah, I think I think Fredbear deserves S tier, right below Nightmare Foxy. I think his design's really good. He keeps the uh, 
the lots of teeth theme that Toy Chica has. And he has the mouth stomach, which I think is awesome. And he's 15 feet tall. Holy shit. <laughs> God damn. The only nightmare out of a I'd let maul me. Great, that's fucking cursed. <laughs> Holy shit. I don't know. My first choice would be um, Nightmareon. Except he wouldn't eat me. Because his mouth doesn't really do that. I'd give that to... Um, I guess Mangle. I don't want I don't want any of them to maul me necessarily, but uh, okay. And then Nightmare, I don't know. Nightmare is a weird one because I really like Nightmare, but he feels kind of like a kind of like a cop out character, I guess. Like Scott didn't really know what to do next, and I get that he has like the brain, the transparent skull, and everything. And I think that's pretty cool. I'll still put him um, in A tier, like right above Withered Bonnie, because I think his design in general is really good. I just think there's not enough distinction between him and Fredbear. It's just kind of like, what, like why, why, you know, why? Amory's like Walmart version, yeah. Uh, and then we got our little our little protagonist of FNAF Four. Um, or at least a protagonist of the mini games, who is commonly theorized to be named Evan Afton. Crying child. I don't know. He's he's lovable. He's a cute little guy. He just got chomped, you know. He's always crying. It's kind of sad. Gets bullied by his brother. I'd put him in a. I'd put him right next to the other crying child. You know, he's the bite of 87 meme. He's like pretty good. Plush trap. Hmm. I don't know. I never loved plush trap. Spring trap son. Yeah, he's he's kind of weird, you know? Like he's a really weird character. Uh I I just put him like right below Freddy in C tier. I don't care for Plush Trap. Like, a lot of people really like Plush Trap, but ugh. Jacko Bonnie takes the regular Bonnie design, makes it better, in my opinion. Uh, right above Nightmare. Uh, Jacko Chica takes the regular Nightmare Chica, makes it better, baby. We going right below Wither Bonnie still, but above regular Chica. I love the little pumpkin cupcake. Nightmare Mangle. Fantastic design. Uh, super cool. Right above Nightmare Foxy. Really good. Really solid. Nightmare on. One of the best designs of the game. Fuck you if you think otherwise. Uh, S, S tier. Right below regular puppet. Actually, they're the same. They're the same. Alright, I put them below, but they're the same. Alright. Fight me. Nightmare Balloon Boy? That's right. Uh, it gets worse than Phantom Balloon Boy. Because there he is, bottom of the tier list. He's an annoying fuck. I hate him. You know what? I changed my mind. Phantom Balloon Boy is worse, but he still sucks. Somehow worse than regular Balloon Boy. Atrocious. Terrible. Terrifying. Disgusting. I hate him. You're ugly. You're disgusting. I'm gonna kill you. Give me $200. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna put a tier right below... Uh... Shit. Right below F tier. Just to signify how terrible Balloon Boy is. Call it stinky. You're right. Stinky. We got Stinky, and then worse than Stinky, Balloon Boy. Baby, easy S tier. Easy S tier. Right there, right above Golden Freddy. Don't even at me, okay? Ballora, I think is a really cool design. I like her song, or her poem, or whatever that she has. Um, I think she's really creepy. I like that her eyes are always closed, that's super cool. 
A tier is getting pretty saturated here, but I'm still going to put her there. Actually, I'm going to put her at the top of B tier. B for Ballora. Fun time, Freddy. Great design. Stellar. Mwah. Chef's kiss. Love the hand puppet. What is his name? Uh, Kellen Goff does a fantastic job voicing him. I'm going to put him right below Phone Guy. I think he deserves it. He's the second best Freddy. I changed my mind. Red Bear is the best. Funtime Foxy. I think Funtime Foxy is kind of boring in Sister Location. Good design, but kind of boring. But then in Ult Ultimate Custom Night, when they get their their voice lines and stuff. It seems you couldn't make it to my show, so I brought the show to you. A performance was demanded of me, and now I have delivered. Encore! Love them. Love them. She's a great character. I love them. Uh, gonna put them... Bottom of S tier, let's go. Fuck you. I make my decisions. This is my tier list. <laughs> I agree immensely with this tier list so far. Thank you, Nelly. Uh, Funtime Freddy has to be S, bro. He literally has a tank to hold kids. <laughs> oh, goodness. Ennard, great design. Wonderful design. Love Ennard. Uh, right below baby. Ennard's great. All right. Love Ennard. Ennard's, Ennard's wonderful. Hand unit, meme, exotic butters. Funny. Funny meme. Funny meme. Uh, goes right below Funtime Freddy. Good meme, hand unit. Hand unit, good meme. We got this weird thing, stinky. We got this weird thing, stinky. Don't care about him. Weird. Weird. Boring. Stupid. Insignificant. Elizabeth Afton, she just kind of dies and that's like her role. She becomes baby. Spoilers. I'm going to put her below, right above purple guy out of respect. She's okay. I like, I like that baby does the voice changer as Ennard to be Elizabeth Afton in the, the Ennard night. I think that's cool. We have baby from the mini game. I personally hated that minigame. I loved it, but I hated it. Because it took me fucking forever to do. Not sure why this is its own character. Maybe there's like a special delivery thing with her in it or something. I don't know. Like, it is just baby, so it should be S tier, but I'm not gonna put it there. Out of spite. I'm gonna put her right next to Ballora. Why not? <laughs> uh, Michael Afton. I like Michael Afton. I'm gonna put him at the bottom of S tier. I like him. He's cool. He's pretty cool. The Nathan is saying children in FNAF, their job is to die. Yeah, no, that is... Yeah. Elizabeth Afton? Dead. Crying child? Er... Soul of dead child is a dead child. Evan Afton? He dies. I don't make the rules. <laughs> I do make the tears. We got Bonbon. Bon Bonbon's bon pretty great. Not amazing. Like Funtime Freddy by himself is pretty good. And Funtime Freddy with Bonbon bon is great. But Bonbon bon alone? Eh. Put him in B tier. B for Bonbon. Bon. I don't think there's a single child in the timeline who hasn't been killed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Bonnet, weird, kind of cute, but kind of stupid. Put, put her with plush trap. Don't care about bon, Bonnet too much. Bitty Bab, I like Bitty Bab. Don't love Bitty Bab. I think they're creepy and I love their voice. But I think their mini game's kind of dumb, honestly. Uh, like once you figure out how to do it, it's really easy and it's not a threat at all. So I don't know. Put them in D tier. Mini Rena, their mini game fucking sucked. It was difficult, but it was difficult for stupid reasons. So I'm gonna put them in F tier, honestly. 
I like I like the mini arenas conceptually. I'll put them at the bottom of D tier because I don't hate the mini arenas, and I do kind of like them conceptually. Like they're they are super creepy, especially if you read the FNAF novel, the short novel that has the mini arenas in it. That makes their design and like their mechanics super creepy. So I like them. I like them. Nightmare versions with all the teeth actually are the scariest. I agree, Nelly. I am with you there. We got Lolbit. Pretty good. You know what? I like Lolbit. S tier. I make the rules. Lolbit's S tier. Don't even. <clears throat> uh, Yendo? Stupid. <laughs> Dumb. Weird. Uh, why is it named Yendo? Yellow Endo? I don't know. Dumb. Don't like. Boring. Electrobab? Stinky. They literally just take bitty babs and they're like, we just want a new mechanic with them. Stinky. Scrap Baby? <clears throat> People shit on Scrap Baby a lot. I don't care. I love Scrap Baby. I put Scrap Baby right next to Mangle. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with saying that. I love the giant claw. I love the roller skates. I fucking love it. All right. I fucking love Scrap Baby. I had a dream today about Toy Freddy abducting me. He would. You know what? If I was scared about any animatronic abducting me, like it would be Toy Freddy. He's a fucking creep. All right. We don't like Toy Freddy. Molten Freddy. Off-brand Ennard. Still a good design though. I do like Molten Freddy. I'll put him at the bottom of S tier. Pretty good, pretty good. Scrap Trap? And... I'm with the general consensus that Scrap Trap is goofy at best. Scrap Trap's top of F tier. He's. Eh. 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 He's just so goofy. He's just so goofy. Uh, now we're on to Ultimate Custom Night. We're almost done. <clears throat> We got Helpy. I think he's a funny little guy. He's cute. He's quirky. Probably put him at the right above Plush Trap. He's just kind of a cute little dude. Rockstar Freddy. Eh. Don't care for the Rockstar animatronics, honestly. They're uh, they're okay. I put him uh, put him at the top of D tier. He's he's nothing impressive. I, I put him below Bitty Bab. You know what? I'm gonna say it. Rockstar Freddy was like hot back then. What do you mean? Rockstar Freddy's boring. Rockstar Bonnie's even worse. Honestly. I I hate Rockstar Bonnie. I really do. His design, it, it like tries to reflect the original Bonnie, but it's so trash in comparison. It's like they just tried to copy the sister location designs, but they did a terrible job with it. I I don't like the rock stars. I put them with Scrap Trap. The only thing I like about Toy Freddy or Rockstar Freddy is please deposit five coins. <laughs> His voice in Ultimate Custom Night was somewhat annoying, but he's okay. I swear. I just don't like him. I just don't like him very much. I don't like the rock stars. Listen, this is a tier list. It's gonna be full of hot takes. Rockstar Chica? Why the yellow cheeks? You know? Or purple cheeks. Why? It looks... Ugh. It just doesn't look good. With the mustard yellow. Like, the ultimate custom night mechanic is really funny. I like the... the... wet floor sign. But it's... it's not great. It's really not great. Not a good design. Rockstar Foxy? I like him. I put him at the... Bottom of C tier. I like his little parrot. Uh, I still don't love him, but at least he looks better than the other Rockstar animatronics. Lefty? He's cool. I like Lefty. I think he's funny. He's a funny little guy. He, he, goes, he goes bottom of A tier. Lefty's neat. Ned Bear? No. <laughs> no. No. Just no. He's bad. Nedbear sucks. Nedbear Ned Bear is 
terrible. Like Orville? Orville's pretty good, you know? Orville goes like right next to Rockstar Foxy. And Mr. Hippo, I mean S tier, right? S tier for sure. For the meme, he deserves to be that high. The frog girl, he's a little bit better than Ned Bear, but not by much. Pig Patch, he's worse than Ned Bear. Funtime Chica, for the meme, she gets to be right next to Bonbon. Bon. But I don't like her design all that much. I just think it's funny that she's looted. Dee Dee, I like her song. It's cute. She is still Balloon Boy's design though, so uh, that's pretty unfortunate. But she does divert away from it a little bit, at least. To be like her own character. I don't know. I kind of like Dee Dee. I think she's funny. Uh, I think she's a good meme. So I don't know. I'll put her in a... I'll put her in C tier. Right above Toy Bonnie. Good meme. Dark Dee Dee. I think she's cool. Right above, right above regular Dee Dee. Um, Fred Bear, great, great character, very spooky. I think it's got to go just below Nightmare Fred Bear because I like Nightmare Fred Bear's design better. But he is important to the lore. I appreciate him. He's pretty good. Pretty good. Candy Cadet, easy S tier. Uh, right above Lolbit, honestly. Candy Cadet's best boy. Music Man? Fucking hate the Music Man. He's creepy. Uh, but I do like him. But I fucking hate him. I put him at the bottom of B tier. Uh, the Cage? Trash in the gang? The Trash Gang? What is this? Number one crate? Uh, not number one in my heart. You go... You go right below Plush Trap. Mr. Vacuum? Uh, I don't like Mr. Vacuum much. He's gotta go below Rockstar Freddy. Actually, he goes below Phantom Chica. Where he deserves. Bucket Bob? I like Bucket Bob. We're gonna put Bucket Bob right below Dee Dee. Pan Stan? I don't care about Pan Stan too much. Put him, put him above Mr. Vacuum. Uh, trash Pan with the balloon on it. He's better than Pan Stan. I'll give him that. L Chip. He's all right. I don't care for L Chip too much. I put him right next to Orville Elephant. A security Puppet. I love him. I'm not gonna lie. I love him. I'm gonna put him right below Innard. I love him. All puppet designs are good. They are. I'm sorry, but if you think otherwise, you're wrong. And lastly, in the Ultimate Custom Night, we have Old Man Consequences. Uh, he's another meme character, so he goes pretty high up. Uh, but I don't even know what the fuck this dude is. Is he like an alligator? Is he a... is he... what is he? Who knows? I don't know, he's old man consequences. What a what a fucking name, you know? Gotta put him in uh Gotta put him right above Funtime Chica. He's pretty great. Okay, we're on to Help Wanted now. Where we got Glitch Trap. Uh and Glitch Trap is great. I, I, I like Glitch Trap a lot. I'm gonna put him right above regular spring trap. Which might be a hot take, but I think his design's funny, and I think he's cool. I like the whole virus thing. Glitchtrap is tall in the game. Respectable. Love the tall animatronics. Love how they could just kill me. Not in a sexual way. I know what you guys are thinking. I don't want to fuck the animatronics. I just like when they're scary. But hear me out. In a sexual way. No, 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 no. I do not. I do not want to fuck the animatronics. <laughs> Tape girl from the Help Wanted. She's okay. 
not as good as phone guy I'll put her in bottom of c tier the little baby plushes they're super creepy love those guys you gotta put them in a s tier honestly no mm, top of a tier right right above hand unit i like them but i don't like him that much freddy in the animation bonkers. he's an in it That's pretty poggers. Ah! Thank you guys. Thank you all. Frizzle, snailing. Oh my gosh, Gray. Thank you for the bits and the subs. Gray, you're already giving me so much. And Rex, thank you. Nathan, you have a lot to do for your September special, apparently. <laughs> we got the help wanted Freddy. He's kind of creepy, kind of cool. Uh, I like him, top of C tier. Uh, Shadow Mangle, spooky Shadow Mangle, pretty cool. Uh, probably about as good as Phantom Mangle, maybe a little better. So we'll put a, probably a little better actually. We'll put them in, uh, Right above, right above Shadow Bonnie. I dig it. Dreadbear. Uh, he's pretty cool. I like his design. I like that he's like a Frankenstein's monster type thing. That's pretty epic. Um, we'll put him right below Withered Bonnie. And then Grim Foxy. Super cool. Like that he's the Nightmare Foxy design, except for like fiery. Uh, that's pretty badass. We will put him right above nightmare mangle and there we fucking have it gamers so here is the definitive naf tier list okay we'll zoom out a little bit so i can see all the ones on the side uh i think it's pretty solid honestly um doesn't get much better than this in terms of opinions you know uh, as we all know, my opinion about FNAF is the most important opinion. Uh, so, really, this is the only tier list that matters at the end of the day. So, you are all welcome for objectively talking about FNAF characters. Love you. <laughs>